There's a lake in Africa so deadly it literally turns animals into stone. It's called Lake Natron, and it looks like the surface of another planet, wet as blood shimmering under a heat haze, surrounded by salt fields that stretch for miles. The water is so alkaline, it can burn skin on contact. Any bird or bat unlucky enough to fall in doesn't just die. It becomes preserved, perfectly mummified, frozen in time like a natural sculpture. Their feathers, their wings, even their eyes stay intact, transformed into eerie statues that line the shoreline. The air smells like rust and ash, a strange mix of life and decay. And yet here's the part that makes no sense. Thousands of flamingos still live there. They walk through those toxic shallows, build nests, raise their young, and somehow thrive in what should be a graveyard. How? Their skin and legs have adapted over time to resist the lake's deadly chemistry. Nature's armor forged in the harshest lab imaginable. It's haunting and beautiful at the same time. A place where death and life coexist, where danger gives birth to color. So next time you think Earth is no mysteries left, remember this. There's a lake that kills everything it touches, and yet somehow it's full of life.